All right, happy Thursday afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist from Misha Shade. It's that time of the day where you find out what is happening in the tropics. As I've been mentioning all season long, nothing headed our way. So no tropical systems expected to impact Southeast Texas over the next week or so. That is good news. However, we do still have more action out there. We've got not one, but two tropical storms. So I'll let you know where those are potentially headed. And of course, I'll have an update on anything else brewing out there in the tropics. Of course, we've just got a few more days in the month of September. We've passed our peak, our typical peak at least of hurricane season, which was September 10th. And we are almost into October. So at least we've passed by that period that typically is the busiest, most active time of hurricane season. However, we still can't let our guard down because hurricane season goes all the way through all of October and all the way through all of November. So it's actually not going to be until the beginning of December before we can say, okay, we don't have any threat for any tropical system. So for now, we're still continuing to watch things very closely, but it does not appear that either one of these tropical systems out in the Atlantic will head towards Southeast Texas. So that's a little bit of good news for us, but we need to find out where they could potentially head. So we are looking at Tropical Storm Philippe and newly formed Tropical Storm Rena just off to the east of Philippe. They are very close to each other and this actually is having an impact on Philippe and its potential strength and potential track. They're so close together where it seems like Philippe is kind of weakening and getting pulled apart by Rena and it's kind of getting steered in a different direction from what the forecasts have been showing for the last several days. So things are kind of getting interesting out there with these systems kind of interacting with each other and influencing each other. But the bottom line is that I don't think either one will be headed into the Gulf of Mexico or towards Southeast Texas. But it looked yesterday as though Philippe could potentially impact portions of the Lesser Antilles, maybe move over Puerto Rico, but that track has changed due to the influence from what is now Tropical Storm Rena. But before we get to more of how these systems are influencing each other, let me break down the current strength and track of Tropical Storm Philippe. It has winds around 45 miles per hour. That's a little weaker than the previous advisory winds were up to 50 miles per hour and movement is extremely slow. It is moving, crawling, we should say, to the west northwest around two miles per hour. Pressure at this point for Tropical Storm Philippe right at 1003 millibars. So it is moving very, very slowly to the west northwest. So it would take it quite a while just to reach the northern portions of the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. So yesterday's forecast had it moving towards Puerto Rico by the late weekend. So that's likely not going to happen. It's going to meander where it is now, just kind of crawling very slow to the west. So we're going to have to wait and see what type of impacts Tropical Storm Rena will have on Philippe. Right now, it's kind of helping it to weaken and it will likely kind of pull it more to the north instead of the west. Speaking of Rena, let's talk about it. This is our newly formed tropical storm and Rena is off to the east of Philippe and we will continue to see Rena continue to potentially impact Philippe. So we do have Philippe currently forecast to move off to the west, drift to the west, and then it is likely going to drift to the southwest, and then it's likely going to shift and drift to the north. So yesterday, the track for Philippe was basically going west and then west-southwest. So now due to the influence of Rena, it is likely going to eventually shift to the north over the next few days. But it should maintain tropical storm status. There's a low chance that Rena could basically weaken it to the point to where it would just kind of fizzle out and dissipate. But but the official forecast continues to keep Philippe at tropical storm status with winds around 40 to 50 miles per hour likely for the next five days or so. But notice that turn, that curve to the north as we get into Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. So that would keep it away from many of those Caribbean islands and that would start to take it up closer to Bermuda as we go through next week if it were to hold together for that long. So that is Tropical Storm Philippe. We've also got Tropical Storm Rena. Now this one 
basically just developed and it is going to take more of a northwesterly track instead of kind of doing a big loop so most of the models are thinking that this will continue to push to the northwest at 14 miles per hour winds are currently at 40 miles per hour and pressure is at 1004 millibars so we are going to have that track basically going up to the northwest and this one could get fairly close to bermuda by the middle and end of next week. So we'll have to watch Rena closely if it holds together. But at this point, neither of our tropical systems, our tropical storms are forecast to become hurricanes, but they will likely maintain tropical storm status for the next five days or so. So they will be very close to each other. They're likely going to continue to influence each other. And Rena may actually help to weaken the other tropical storm, which is Philippe. Now I want to show you the computer model forecast for Philippe, which is the tropical storm to the west of Arena. And yesterday, most of these models were taking it over into the Caribbean islands, Puerto Rico, over towards Haiti, Dominican Republic, the Lesser Antilles. But now look at this. These models are just all over the place. This one's taking it north. The other ones are curving it off to the northeast. This one's taking it to the southwest. So the models are not really agreeing uh, where they think Tropical Storm Philippe is headed. That's why that track continues to kind of shift at this point. So we'll watch things closely, but for now, at least it does not appear that it will be moving anywhere towards Southeast Texas. Computer model forecast for Tropical Storm Arena do have more of a consensus. They're agreeing a little more instead of being all over the place. It looks like they are taking Arena the majority of them at least off to the north and west and there's one model here that kind of curves it back to the southwest but the majority of these computer models take it northwest closer to bermuda over the next several days so those are our two tropical storms right now we'll continue to monitor both of those but it's kind of interesting they're kind of back to back out there in the central atlantic with the tropical storm that just developed today, Tropical Storm Rena, we are now up to 18 named storms. So that is above normal for our hurricane season with still a couple more months to go. That's 18 named storms, six hurricanes, three major hurricanes. So we're already four names above that average of 14 named storms. And we're very close to that average of seven hurricanes and right around that average of three major hurricanes. So if we get any more activity out there in the tropics, we're just gonna continue to add Add to those numbers and it's just definitely going to be an above normal season before it's over with we already have had several named storms as of today we have arena we still have philippe out there and both tropical storms we only have one two three four more names to go on our official list of 2023 tropical cyclone names for this season so we've got sean tammy vince and whitney and then that's it we would have to come up with some other naming system after that if we get past those. Hopefully, we won't have too many more, but even though we're getting closer to the end of hurricane season, we still can't let our guard down because we've still got very warm water temperatures out there, 80s to low 90s all across the Gulf. And of course, with that water still being that warm, even though we're getting towards the end of hurricane season, there could always still be the potential for more tropical activity popping up. It's the same story in the Atlantic. We'll have to watch the Atlantic Basin closely because those water temperatures are still fairly steamy out there, 80s to low 90s. And so that means we still could have more tropical cyclones, tropical depressions, tropical storms, or hurricanes forming over the next couple of months. So even as we get into October, you may be thinking, oh, well, we haven't gotten anything now. Our chances are over with, but still don't think that. Stay alert because with the super warm water in the Gulf, Caribbean and Atlantic, we could still have more tropical action. Of course, keep track of things tropical and other weather related issues with our Fox 26 weather app. Just head to the app store, search for Fox 26, and you can find out about any tropical weather alerts that we could potentially have down the road. And of course, you can get your local forecast, which is all about that heat with a little rain mixed in at this point. But hey, maybe signs that some cooler air could be headed our way over the next couple of weeks. I have an update with that forecast for you on our news at 5, 6, 9, and 10. And of course, you can check back in tomorrow afternoon to get your latest on what's happening at in the tropics, usually a little after 4 p.m. Well, that's your tropical update for today. For your Thursday, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your day.